fondest memories I have is of course uh, living on the island itself and having a very close-knit uh, community of friends. We do five days work in the uh, refinery, so Saturday and Sunday are our off days. So living on the island, there was a provision shop, a bubble shop, beauty parlour shop, electrical goods shop, and uh, one more. Taylor. There was one tailor. Marketing for us is a big family affair because we need to really bring in one week stock of food. Um, there's not many other choices of food around here except uh, the main one which we cook on our own. Yeah. We have to bring at least uh, two trolleys and we have to carry on the boat and we have to bring it, bring it back home. For us to get remaining base, uh, basic uh, provisions, vegetables, meat, groceries and stuff like this, then we got to get that from Singapore side. Therefore, we need a lot of storage capacity. Uh, those days, we have two big fridges plus one freezer. That's how we keep our uh, one week of uh, marketing staff. I could take the earliest boat, which was a 605 boat, but I'll still be very, very late for school. After two weeks, um, the discipline uh, master actually gave up chasing me because uh, every time they ask why I was late, I'll just produce my IC that shows my address that says Block A, 4A, Pula Bukom. After that, the next thing I will show is actually in the boat schedule that shows that the earliest boat is 6.05. There's no way I can come uh, earlier to school. So I already took the first boat unless I have to canoe or swim from uh, Bukom back to Singapore. Clubhouse <laughs> is uh, very special. It has a badminton court, air condition, a squash court, air condition as well, a gym, and there are two tennis courts, a bowling alley, a library, a dance hall, and a Chinese restaurant. It has a huge uh, swimming pool plus a chow pool. We have a theatre, right? Uh, which has a capacity for about 200. It's free of charge. You don't need to book seat, you don't need to pay a single cent. When I was in school, uh, a lot of my friends did not believe that I stay on the island and they did not believe that the island came with so much facilities. It took me a, a long time to convince them to actually come to Bukom. They say it cannot be true. They still could not believe it until they came into my house and they said like, wow, that was huge. And last one, when I brought them to the clubhouse, then they were convinced. What we miss most, the uh, social life that we had, the uh, kampung spirit, kampung get-togetherness uh, with the uh, colleagues and the families, that bring us together. Uh, the bond is very strong. The part that I miss most about Bukom is actually the beautiful scenery. And of course, the beautiful sunset and sunrise. 